All right, we're going to keep moving. That was a great question, Liz, by the way. Ken, what's up? Kenny says, when you are doing your research for the LC location research spreadsheet or gathering any research, are you saving each different iteration to your local personal G drive? <laughs> Here's a tinfoil hat question, guys. <laughs> and Ken, yes, I'm picking on you, buddy. Uh, I'm asking because that would seem to create a footprint and connect things together for Big G or is no big deal in creating folders in my G drive for all my projects and keeping all files and folder research in each folder. Hey, look, I know everybody has their own varying opinions on this. Um, I know I think even Marco now keeps his data in box or 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 something else out, um, uh, not in drive. But my entire business is in drive. It always has been. I don't worry about that shit. I think Google's got much bigger fish to fry. If at some point I get where it's, I feel like I'm, I'm, too, I'm nervous about it, I may change that. But for now, it's, it's specifically for me, it's because it's an ease of use for me and my, my, my team. <clears throat> it's so much easier for me to uh, manage everything within drive and have all of my team members have access to it. So we can collaborate in real time. And I know that there are other services to do it, but I don't want yet another fucking service that I've got to be logged into all the time. I've got too many as it is. And I, pers I per personally like Google apps and everything about Google. Like I've built my entire business on Google stuff and my entire business is in Google drive. And I'm okay with that. If you, um, if again, everybody to each their own, I'm not saying my way is right or wrong. And some of you might say I'm crazy, but I've, I've been getting by just fine. And I'm going to continue to do so until some, you know, someone tells me, uh, proves to me that I need to change it. So Ken, I'm, I, I, I don't change, I don't, I don't worry about it, but I know some people do. If you're a tinfoil hat kind of guy and put another layer on and, um, and move your stuff outside of drive. What do you think, Marco? It's not so much that I, that I worry about it. It's just that I don't want Google having the data. That's all. Right. And they go into drive and I plan you know, the, the stuff that I'm doing is, is going to bring the type of revenue that's going to make Google pay attention. So if they do, I don't want them seeing shit anywhere. I'm not, I don't want to make, make it easier for them to, to, to like hit me. Right. Oh, it, it, and they've been known to, to, to like single out people, target people and just wipe them out. And so if that happens, it's not going to be because they got the information from me. They might get it from a competitor. They might get it from someone who dislikes me for whatever reason, but they're not going to get it from me. So there you go. Anybody else want to comment on that? Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been using Google Drive for quite a while now. Uh, yet again, I'm not that worried about Google, so yeah, maybe I should be a little bit more worried about that. I don't know. Yeah, well, you're a paid traffic guy, not so much an SEO guy anymore, so you don't have much to worry about, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Or that's, if that's we're not thing. doing the paid traffic stuff just to fool Google. Yeah. It's a, it's a mask. It's a distraction, right? A decoy. Yes. Yeah. 